Uh, hi, in this video you will see how to run a regression with uh, robust uh, standard errors. So what you have to do is uh, again uh, type in uh, the command for your regression, rack, the name of your dependent variable, sales, the name of your independent variables, price, add, and uh, next you will write down uh, an option. So every time you write a comma in uh, Stata, it, you're basically are choosing uh, an option for your regression. So for our standard errors, we want to choose robust standard errors. Once you type in this command and uh, press enter, you will see the output of uh, your linear regression, but this time estimated with uh, robust standard errors. Up here, we have um, the outcome of our regression with uh, the usual uh, non-robust standard errors. You can uh, see here that um, the, your, uh, the significance of your variables did not uh, change. Um, again, uh, price is... Uh, uh, significant and uh, advertisement is uh, significant um, however there is uh, a difference in uh, the your standard uh, errors um, and the size of the standard error for price uh, went down but then uh, the size for uh, advertisement uh, the the size of the standard errors for um, advertisement uh, costs uh, went uh, up. So uh, we can conclude that we see a difference between uh, the robust and uh, the standard errors for both price and advertisement and, and uh, advertising, uh, which could be an indicator of uh, heteroskisodicity. So uh, we cannot see at this point whether this uh, difference is uh, significant or not, but uh, what we can conclude is that maybe we should run some tests and uh, uh, see if uh, there is heteroskisodicity and uh, if uh, we should do something to get uh, uh, rid of uh, it in our model.